Hello everybody, today we are going to look at the converse of Pythagoras theorem. Now previously in Pythagoras theorem, right, uh, what kind of triangle do we need before we can apply the formula? We need a right angle triangle. And because we have a right angle triangle, we can apply the formula c squared equals to a squared plus b squared to help us to find the unknown length in the right angle triangle. Now in the converse of Pythagoras theorem, right, we are working in the reverse. Right? What you are having now is you, the question will actually give you the three values of the triangle, but you don't know whether it's a right angle triangle. Okay, so what you need to do now is you need to actually find out uh, the values and then you make comparisons. Okay, and after you make comparisons, you'll be able to uh, determine whether or not uh, it's a right angle triangle. So that's the nature of the converse. Okay, so in the converse of Pythagoras theorem, we want to decide whether or not a right angle, a triangle is a right angle triangle. That's the important thing about the converse of Pythagoras theorem. So let's take a look at some of the success criteria of how to apply your converse of Pythagoras theorem successfully. Now first of all we need to be able to identify the longest length of the triangle given all three values. Okay. And uh, once we have managed to identify that, we can make two separate sets of calculations. Okay. One is for the calculation of c square, okay, which uh, you are just calculating the square of the longest length. And the second will be the square of the the sum of square of the two shorter lengths. Okay, so we need two separate calculations. Uh, why is it that we need two separate calculations and not uh, just the whole equation c square equals to a square plus b square? The reason is because we don't know whether the triangle is a right angle triangle, and the formula which we have learned previously in Pythagoras theorem is only applicable to right angle triangle. So. Uh, that is the reason, that is the main reason why we cannot have the whole equation being written out in a lump sum. Because uh, we don't know whether the triangle given to us in this question is a right angle triangle. Alright, so once we have actually made the two separate calculations, right, the next step is to make comparisons of these two numbers that I've calculated. So uh, if the two numbers are the same, then uh, it means that the given triangle is a right angle triangle. And uh, why is that so? Uh, because if we think about Pythagoras theorem, it works only when the triangle given is a right angle triangle and c square will be equals to a square plus b square when the triangle is a right angle triangle. So therefore, if we are working in reverse now, if c square and is equal to a square plus b square separately when we calculate them, then it will also mean that the given triangle is right angle triangle. So that, that's the understanding behind it. And uh, using this same thinking, same uh, logic in it, we will be able to find out that if the two values calculated are different, then uh, the given triangle is not a right angle triangle. Okay, let's take a look at some examples later. Okay, so in this example, we are given all three lengths of the triangle. Okay, AB is 28 cm, AC is 96 cm, and BC is 100 cm. Okay. And uh, you are supposed to state with reasons okay, whether or not triangle ABC is a right angle triangle. Now, first of all, we need to determine what is the longest length. Okay, And uh, it's very clear cut, right? You look at 28, 96 and 100, which one is longest? 100 cm is the longest, right? So our first step will be to calculate the value of 100 squared. Okay, and you make your calculation using a calculator, you'll get 10,000. This will be our first step. Okay, the second step, we will actually calculate the sum of the squares of the shorter lengths. So it'll be 28 square plus 96 square. Okay, we add the sum of squares of the two shorter lengths. So if you press a calculator, you'll get 10,000 as well. So because the two numbers are the same, we can actually conclude that uh, triangle ABC is a right angle triangle. Now, when we are doing conclusion, right, we need to uh, give evidence, you know, give support, and uh, write down the conclusion. Okay, just like how a lawyer will do, okay, during a court case. So a lawyer will actually present the evidence first, okay, and the lawyer will need to bring up some clause, like clause uh, thirty-eight point five, thirty-eight point nine, uh, based on this. And I sentence this, uh, I pronounce this uh, convict not guilty or what, something like that. Right. So um, so every time when you're proving something, you need these three steps as well. You, you need the evidence first, 
and then after that you need some clause to support your evidence and finally you need to pass down your conclusion okay so in math uh, when we are doing supporting questions also we need these three statements so first of all how do we write okay so since bc square is equals to ab square plus ac square okay how did i get all these things these are from my numbers so bc square is actually the longest length right the sum of the shorter lengths are just ab square plus ac square now if this is true that means pythagoras theorem is true so by converse of pythagoras theorem Okay, then your conclusion, triangle ABC is a right angle triangle. Right. Okay, so, so look carefully at the three steps. What are the three steps involved? First is your evidence. Okay, the second is the theory or the clause. And then the last step will be your conclusion. Right. So every time when you're doing with Pythagoras theorem, this is how you write down the reasons as for, uh, you know, to prove Pythagoras theorem. Right. And uh, we, we can actually determine or not uh, whether or not it's a right angle triangle when the two values are the same. Okay. Yeah. So let's take a look at the second example now. Now we have another set of triangle, triangle DEF. The lengths are 24 cm, 27 cm and 21 cm. You are also supposed to determine whether or not the triangle is a right angle triangle. So first we identify what is the longest length. So which one is the longest length? 27, right? Okay, so what we are going to do now is we are going to do the calculation. So first we calculate what is 27 square using your calculator. So 27 square is 729. Okay, the second step you calculate the sum of square of the two shorter lengths. So it will be 24 square plus 21 square okay and using your calculator you'll get 1017 now make a comparison are the two values the same they are not the same right okay so what can you conclude the triangle is not a right angle triangle yeah so this is what we're going to do now so we, we're going to write it up now so 27 comes from ef we write down ef so ef square is not equal to okay how do we write not equals to you write an equal with a stroke so this represents not equal to okay so you write this and you get de square plus df square right so ef square is not equals to de square plus df square right okay and uh by converse of pythagoras theorem again so uh since uh sorry since yeah, so by converse of Pythagoras theorem, right? Triangle DEF is not a right angle triangle. Okay, so that's how we prove it and uh, this will conclude our lesson for today. So are we clear on how to do this kind of questions already?